All right, thank you very much, John. We want to head over now to News 5's Ashley Knight, who is live along the I-65 service road near Lowe's to show us some of the damage there behind Springdale Mall. Ashley? Hey. Hey, Devin. Yes, I came over here to Lowe's and just to give you a point of reference how strong these winds were, they actually moved all these packs of soil over here. Now, if you have ever moved or done any gardening, you know exactly how heavy these things are. It just shoved it to the side like it weighed nothing. I actually talked with the manager of Lowe's a minute ago, and he said most of the damage is out here at the garden center. He said there's a little flooding inside. Uh, part of the roofs have been uh, torn off, allowing some of the rain inside. They're going to be Obviously, they're closed today. He says he hopes to be back up and running tomorrow. Um, I asked him if he thought that was a little optimistic, and he said, well, we'll see. They've got crews on the way over right now to uh, kind of estimate uh, the damage and see how much uh, it's going to cost them. But he said that there was actually an employee inside Lowe's overnight working when this torn or whatever this was that hit it uh, uh, came by, and he said the, the wind blew in. The doors kind of blew in around him. He was a few aisles over, so he was not injured, thankfully. He's been sent home for the day and uh, and is at home recuperating. But again, he said most of the damage is out here around the garden center. You can see some of the roof, uh, some of the tent area has been blown off over here. Um, and uh, and some of the, uh, obviously, the flowers have been scattered everywhere. Uh, some panels are down and, and just equipment is scattered everywhere. They're they're uh, just kind of walking around, doing the rounds, and, and taking inventory right now, taking a look at at everything that's been uh, that's been uh, affected right now. So um, again, Lowe's obviously closed today. They hope to be back up and running tomorrow. Uh, he says that's that is being a little optimistic, but he's he's got to work with what he's got. So back to you, Devin. So you're not seeing a lot of broken windows at Lowe's because we've been hearing all morning long about um, some windows that were broken. Um, I have not seen any broken windows. Again, the, the two front doors, the sliding doors that you walk into, have been kind of broken in a little bit. They are askew right now. Um, they've got that whole area kind of roped off. Nobody's allowed to go in except for employees and the and the service crew going in to estimate right now. But um, but as far as I've seen, I have not seen any, any glass shattered or any windows broken, unless that's at the, the far side of the building right now. We've not been over on that side. We've just been kind of concentrating right out here for now. It actually just shows you the power of the storm. You mentioned those soil bags. I think all of us have tried to lift those, and they are heavy. <laughs> they are very heavy. I wouldn't recommend, you know, moving them on yourself, uh, by yourself, if uh, if you don't have the back effort going into it or some uh, trusty uh, gentleman nearby to help you out. <laughs> all right, News 5's uh, Ashley Knight there live outside Lowe's off of the uh, I-65 service road.